In the last couple of days, um, there's been a lot of news going around about the, uh, the passing of Bishop Mario uh, Dorsonville. Um, I can honestly say, um, whenever I heard the news, um, that it was shocking. Um, I felt like, and still feel like, uh, I've been kind of in a fog. Um, just wondering, where are you, Lord, and what in the heck are you doing uh, right now? Um, but as we were preparing, as I was preparing for this weekend, uh, for the uh, for my masses this weekend, I, I, I couldn't help but be drawn to our second reading, um, where we hear Saint Paul's writing to the Corinthians, um, right before uh, the words that are actually in our our second reading today. Um, we hear this: "So, brethren, in whatever state of life each was called, there let him remain with God." We hear an invitation from the Lord repeatedly in these early days of ordinary time uh, to be with the Lord, to follow him, to, be, to come and, and, and change the aspects of our life, uh, drop our nets, as you hear in the apostles, and, and go and follow him. Last week we heard, come and see, come and be with me. I think uh, this invitation takes on a different uh, tone in these days. Uh, especially as our diocese is just searching uh, for answers to questions. Um, I, I know uh, just from talking to Brother Priest that there's been a lot of questions of what now, what next, um, a desire to want to be together, want to pray, uh, and just a, a sadness a, a, that almost has kind of draped itself uh, over our ministry as now we, we don't have a shepherd. I think there's been some confusion. Um, of how am I supposed to feel? Um, I know for me, uh, the, the times that I've been able to be with Bishop have been fantastic. Uh, he, was a, he was a joy, uh, a light, very excited. Or in these days, I, I can't help but question, well, what next? <laughs> Where? Or uh, just try and make sense of the emotions that are there. But as St. Paul says, right, in whatever state each was called, there, let him remain with God. In whatever place that we find ourselves, there, let us remain with God. St. Paul ends up talking about vocations and whether you're married or whether you're in service of the church or let, let there remain with God. I think it's a continued invitation of us that has been echoed since Christmas for us, that God is with us and that there, let us remain with God. So wherever we find ourselves, if we find ourselves in confusion, there, let us remain with God. If we find ourselves um, in sadness and sorrow, there, let us remain with God. If we find ourselves questioning, there, let us remain with God. I think um, a, a key for us in our Christian life uh, is to continue uh, to remain with God. St. Paul really is hitting the thesis statement of what it means to be Christian. St. Paul is putting his finger on the pulse of what it really means to be Christian, of what it really means to be Catholic, what it really means to be a disciple of the Lord. So, the f question that I think has been welling up more than any other is why wait? And Peter, Andrew, James, and John, as they're on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, they could wait and say, well, we'll follow Jesus later. <laughs> Matthew, when he's at the customs post, and he, he could say, wait, I I'll follow you later. Paul, when he's blind, could say, wait, I'll be okay for now, I'll follow you later. But why wait? Where we find ourselves today, why wait? We see an example that this world is passing, that things can drastically happen very, very quickly. But why wait? Why wait to make the changes that we know we need to make? Why wait to be able to live our faith more vigorously, with more, with, with more intensity? Why wait, thinking that later on, I'll do my conversion, I'll do my confession, I'll do the things that I'm being invited to do, I can do that later. Why wait? In every place that we find ourselves, let us be with God. Today, uh, as, we, as we celebrate this third Sunday of Ordinary Time, um, many of our churches uh, will be remembering the memory of our shepherd. Um, mem the memory of the man who has led us this past year. But I continue to go back to why wait? We don't have to wait for another bishop 
to live our life of holiness. We don't have to wait for permission to, to, to make the changes that we know we need to make. We don't have to wait uh, to turn away from sin and to get back to confession or get back into the church. I think an invitation from the Lord today is for all of us, through the witness of Bishop, is why wait? May today we not wait anymore and invite the Lord in so that in every place we find ourselves, we find ourselves with God.